hey welcome back to the channel now in this video what I want to do is to basically answer this question that Marcelino I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly had asked about uh, how do we show the zero or many relationship so the first thing I'll, what I'm going to do is to actually open uh, my SQL workbench Alright, so while I do have MySQL installed on this machine, uh, for some reason it's not picking up uh, the MySQL server. So what I'm going to do is just to go ahead and create a basic model and create a diagram here. It's going to look a little, a little bit different and that is because I am not using Windows, I'm actually using a Linux machine and as a result it will look a little bit different. If I pull over two of these, so categories and, and users, or user, category and user, what you would notice by looking here is that there is actually no zero or no zero or many uh, relationship in here. I don't know why exactly, but uh, there's none. So what I'm gonna do is just to pull up. Uh, uh, I have LibreOffice Draw. So basically, what the zero or many relationship would look like is this. So let's say we have two tables, and uh, I'm using the mouse, so it's, it's it's gonna look a little bit weird. So we have two tables like this, and uh, I don't know what kind of tables these are. I'm assuming you could just say users or user again and uh, the relationship basically looks like this so we'll have our line just the same for the many for the zero or many end we basically have oh this is not drawing properly just undo that so we'll have the same crow foot here a crow's foot here and a zero so this signifies the zero or many and usually what would happen on the next end is two strokes so basically when you have a relationship like this is technically or actually a zero one or many uh relationship which basically under certain conditions are more likely business condition because obviously you'll be doing this for a business the application or the database or the row in the database table would allow you to have a null value in there so there are there are a couple instances where that will be applicable or that's something that you would be ideal and that is when you would actually use this and here is a better image just to uh, show exactly what I what I have uh, we have the zero or many and then we have the strokes would kind of basically identify uh, one and only one in in this uh, instance here that's pretty much it as it relates to identifying a many to a zero to many relationship if anyone has any better uh, illustration they could share that in the comment section what I would also suggest is that I'm gonna leave my Discord uh, server link where you can join to, to get faster response uh, to your comments uh, in in the Discord chat room. That is pretty much it for this video. I hope that it answered the question that was asked. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.